Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis for more point and click adventure game action. We are right back where we left off in Monte Carlo. We're going to crack on. We've got two new locations, Monte Carlo and Algiers, and we're going to check them both out. But we're going to start here and see if we can find Sophia's old colleague who might have information on the uh, stones that we need to track down Atlantis. So um, we can use the taxi here. Ah, there's city streets as well. Hmm, okay. Interesting. I don't see anything special about it. So we can go to the city streets, can we? Nothing interesting over here. No, okay, maybe we can't. I don't think that'll work. No, okay, so it looks like we can only go inside then or back to the airport. Um, there's also all these people, but let's try heading inside then. Can we open the door or just... The door is closed. Okay, can we open it? Any luck, Indiana? Where's Trottier? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm tired of looking for Trottier. This isn't working. Let's move on. I have no idea where he is. I have no idea where he is. Well then, get back out there. Right, okay, so we've got to go out there and actually look for him then, have we? Let's, um... We've had our invent cleared as well, so I'm guessing that coal stuff was for nothing. What now? Uh, I'm tired of looking. I'm tired of looking for Trottier. You can't stop now. We can't let the Nazis beat us to Atlantis. That's true. We probably can't. Um, is there anything we can do in here? There's a bedspread. Uh, but apart from that, I think there's nothing else we can really interact with in this room. Uh, oh wait, no, there's a cabinet and a fuse box. <laughs> Right, let's look at all this stuff. There must be a sheet under here. Can we pick this up? Yeah, we can. We've got some bed sheets. It's a bed sheet. Interesting. Uh, what's the deal with the fuse box? It's a fuse box. Can we open it up? We can. And there's a circuit breaker. It's the main power switch for the room. I can't pick that up. Uh, okay, so we can't pick it up. Can we use it? Yeah, we can. I'm not really sure why we'd want to do that. It appears there's some lights over there. Uh, I'm not really sure what the purpose of that was. So we're going to try and turn this back on. Uh, and there was this cabinet as well, wasn't there? There's a flashlight in here. Ah, okay, let's pick that up. I can't pick that up. Wait. Can we... Right, so it's a flashlight, but that's it. So let's pick the flashlight up. Because that could... Ah! So we could potentially turn the lights off and use the flashlight in here. I don't know why we'd want to do that, but we can. It's a flashlight. Uh, can we use it? I don't need it now. Right, we don't need it now. Okay. This could be a bit of a puzzle, then. Um, I mean... I mean, how are we supposed to find Trottier here? Just a moment, please. Have we literally just got to talk to everybody? Can you tell me what Monsieur Trottier looks like? Can you tell me what Monsieur Trottier looks like? Sorry, I don't know him. I mean, this has got to be a very bad way of doing this, right? Hey, you. I'm trying to talk to you. Excuse me. Oh, this is quite difficult to click on people. Are you Alan Trottier? Are you Alan Trottier? No, I'm not. Well, okay. Is this him? Just a moment, please. Uh, are you Alan Trottier? This has got to be a better way of doing this. Are you surely. Alan Trottier? No, I'm not. I mean, is it the same people walking past? Just a moment, please. I think it is actually, isn't it? Are you Alan Trottier? No, I'm not. Apparently no one is Alan Trottier. Um, we've spoken to this guy. We've spoken to this guy. Can't talk to him. We've spoken to this guy. What about this Excuse guy? Excuse me. 
Are you Alan Trottier? Are you Alan Trottier? No, I'm not. <laughs> I mean, this has got to be the worst possible way of doing hey it, there. surely. Can you tell me where he is, maybe? Can you tell me where to find Monsieur Trottier? Sorry, no. But I know he has an aquiline nose. An aquiline nose, okay. I bet it's that guy. Excuse me. Yeah, I bet it's that guy with the brown jumper. Can you tell me where to find Monsieur Trottier? No, désolé. But I know he has an aquiline nose. Everyone says that. It's gotta be that guy. Just a moment, please. It's gotta be this guy. Are you Alan Trottier? Are you Alan Trottier? Oh, perhaps. Yes, who's asking? Him. Uh, who's asking? That's not important. Are you Trottier or not? I'm Dr. Indiana Jones of Barnet College. Just call me Jones. I can't tell you it's confidential. I'm Dr. Indiana Jones of Barnet College. Jones, Jones, Jones. I believe I've heard of you. You should have done. Yes, of course, the famous archaeologist. Yep, that's the one. Uh, that's me. Yep, I'm just about the world's greatest adventurer. Actually, I'm just a simple professor. Uh, yep, that's me. That's me. And I am Trottier. Right, it is him. Amateur scholar, part-time poet, professional dreamer. My horoscope told me to find a new path through life tonight. And here I bump into you. Well, there you go. Ah, it's what meant good to be. fortune. Fate brought us together. Um, what can you tell me about Atlantis? I've heard you dealing Atlantean artifacts. Madame Sophia is in town and wants to meet you. Madame Sophia is in town and wants to meet you. Really? The great psychic? Mm -hmm. Oh, no wonder I felt restless tonight. Still, one must be cautious. I fear that German agents are on my trail. They to absolutely you are, are not one of them, answer me this. Okay. Why did the Atlanteans build their huge colossus? Uh, to stop sea level rising to make themselves like gods, to place their city atop Mount Olympus, to challenge nature itself. We might have to go and ask Sophia about this. To challenge nature itself. Oh no no no, you're just guessing. Uh, bonsoir, monsieur. Right, yeah, we're gonna have to go and ask Sophia, I reckon. Um, unless it's in the lost dialogue, but we'll see. Did you find our man, Indy? Yeah, but he needs to know some answers. Where's Trottier? Uh... Really? We, we found him. This isn't working. Let's move on. Okay. We could talk to a collector in Algiers who might know something. Omar ah. Al-Jabbar. Get a cab and I'll join you. Right, okay. So it looks as though we've got to potentially find out the answer to that question from the guy in Algiers. I don't think that'll work. Let's just look at this in case. Um, let's see if there's anything about... Quick skim read. Not there. Uh, moonstone, sunstone, final entrance... No horses or a calcum. No, so it doesn't look like. Find a huge colossus. Time would make them like the gods themselves. Right, so we do know the answer. The answer is in here. So in that case, let's head out and just answer like that then. I better put the flashlight back. No, I don't want to put the flashlight back. I'd better put the sheet back. I don't, I don't want to put any of those things back. Can we talk to her and get her to like, not leave now? Listen. What now? Let's stay here. What do we do now? Go find Trottier or call a cab, okay? I'm going to find Trottier, so let me take all this crap again. <laughs> Just in case it comes in useful. I've got a feeling it might. Right, give me the flashlight back. So I'm trying to put it all back in the Come on. I better, I better put the sheet back. Why? Right, let's talk to Trottier when he comes. There he is. Right, we'll get him when he comes back. It's kind of difficult to click on him, to be honest. Alright, where are you? Come on, Trottier. 
Here he is. Monsieur Trottier? Back again, Dr. Jones. Yep. What now? I've got your answer for you. Madame Sophie is in town and wants to meet you. Really? The great psychic? Yep. Oh, no wonder I felt restless tonight. Still, one must be cautious. I fear that German agents are on my trail. To yep. prove you are not before. one of them, answer me this. When were the many freaks oh, of what? nature created? Oh, God. Um... In the last days of Atlantis. Oh, no, 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 you're oh, just getting... come on, man, he changed the question. Bonsoir, monsieur. So, yeah, this could be problematic, then. Um... Yeah, so we could... We could be in trouble here a little bit. Maybe we do need to go and speak to the other guy first. Yeah, perhaps we do. Alright, well, let's use the taxi, then. Wait for me! And we'll go to Algiers. Ooh, look at this place. Nice. Uh, we can go to a roof here. Oh god, there's a lot of things to interact with here, it turns out. <laughs> Knife thrower. Audience. Um, there's a beggar. There's a roof. City streets. Oh god, there's... Oh no, we can't. We'd better not go out there. We'll just get lost. Okay, can we have a look at the beggar? He looks pretty well fed for a beggar. Ah, so maybe he's not a beggar. Excuse then. me. Excuse Sophia, can you move? What? Never mind. Okay. I'm trying to talk to the beggar, but you're like right in the way. Hello there. Ah, a prosperous American. Uh, you ever hear of Atlantis, old man? Do you know where to find Omar Al Jabbar? What are you doing here on the streets? What are you doing here on the streets? I'm a beggar, Effendi. It is my job to be here. Today I'm offering a discount. Give me food and I'll give you a free gift. Uh, what kind of gift are we talking about? How's business? How's business? I've seen worse. Today I'm offering a discount. Give me food and I'll give you a free gift. Hmm, okay. Um, do you know where to find Omar Al Jabbar? You know where to find Omar Al Jabbar? Omar is one of my best customers. Okay. His shop is on the other side of the marketplace. Hmm, okay. Sorry to bother you. Sorry to bother you. No bother, Effendi. I don't really want to start... Now, let me get back to work, please. I don't really want to start getting into the business of sort of Atlantis and stuff with random people on the street. I don't want to disturb them. They look kind of busy. Okay. They look busy. Oh, there we go. Um, so... Over here we've got this knife thrower. I mean, this looks safe, doesn't it? Can we look at him? Say. Yes? Mind if I look at your necklace? Why are we looking at the necklace? What? Looks like Onyx. Looks like Onyx. It's a small diamond-shaped hole. It's an old lost wax casting, early Bronze Age. It looks mm. hollow. Uh, I don't know if we can... What do you think you're doing? Just using the medallion. <laughs> uh, Thanks. Right, okay. Right, let's look at the knife. He's right. an artist with those knives. Can we talk to him? Excuse me. Yes? Uh, nice knives. Nice knives. Yes. They were a gift from my father, the greatest knife thrower in North Africa. I'm right. trying to follow his example. Why is his voice so crackly? But alas, no one will volunteer to be my assistant since the accident. What accident? Or do I want to know? Do you know where to find Omar Al Jabbar? Do you know where to find Omar Al Jabbar? He has a shop nearby behind the marketplace. Sorry to bother you. No bother. I just wish the volunteer would step forward to assist me. Ah, maybe that's something that we can do. What do we reckon? Excuse me? Yes? Do you want me to be the assistant? I'd make a wonderful assistant. 
It's refreshing to see such spirit. But my assistant must be a woman. Oh, well. Show business, you know. We've got Sophia here. She, I'm, su I'm sure she would do it. Let's, um, let's see. Excuse me. What? Do you want to be that guy's assistant? Um, I think you should volunteer to help the knife thrower. I think you should volunteer to help the knife thrower. No, you don't, Jones. Yes, I do. Think about the effect on international relations. Do it and I'll let you wear my hat. Please, it's perfectly safe. Please, it's perfectly safe. Right, perfectly safe. Take a good look at his dexterity. It's very skilled. Well, okay. Gee, knives make me nervous. Uh, okay, well, there we go. Can we... Excuse me. Yes? How do I get hurt? Sorry to bother you. No bother. That didn't exactly Listen. work, did it? What? Come on, assist the guy. Come on, assist the guy, will you? Nope, nope, nope. Uh, come on. Pretty please? Oh, sure. I wouldn't trust that man to cut carrots. Okay, You're not really looking. Observe that superb technique. Oh, all right. I don't know. Those knives look dangerous. They're a happy bunch. So, I, I don't get it. Why does she not... Sophia. So, oh, it's so what? annoying that he keeps clicking on Sophia. Never mind. Okay. Uh, let's talk to the grocer. Excuse me. Yes? Uh, do you know where to find Omar Al Jabbar? What, what looks good today? What looks good today? Today we have a special squab on a stick. Only 20 dinars. What is a squab? Uh, do you accept US currency? Do you know where to find Omar Al Jabbar? Do you know where to find Omar Al Jabbar? Omar, his pitiful excuse for a shop is down the alley here. Okay, I guess we'll go down there then. Do you accept US currency? Do you accept US currency? Sorry, no. Well, a squab would sure hit the spot. Oh, a squab would sure hit the spot. What is a squab? 20 dinars, if any. Alright, so maybe if we can get some money. Uh, maybe we can make a deal. Maybe we can make a deal. What kind of deal? I don't know. Um, I'll give you my fine leather jacket. <laughs> I'll give you my fine leather jacket for a squab. In this heat, don't be absurd. Okay, don't say I didn't... Don't go away. I'll get back to you. Right, so we can trade with this guy then. Question is, what can we trade with him? Uh, let's go to the alley. We'll see if Omar's down here, shall we? Ah, this must be him. Oh god, there's a lot of crap here. A lot of pots and urns and crockery and um, posters and... Jeez, there is a lot of stuff here. <laughs> Funny. Looks like that ghost we saw in your study. Oh, it does. That ghost was Nurab Sal. Hmm. So, perhaps this guy does know something about Atlantis. Excuse me. What can I do for you, Effendi? Uh, are you Mr. Omar Al-Jabbar? Are you Mr. Omar Al-Jabbar? I am but a humble shopkeeper. My name is unimportant. Hmm. That sounds like a yes to me. Do you ever deal in antiquities from Atlantis? Do you ever deal in antiquities from Atlantis? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Many a fool dreams of the Lost Kingdom. Mm. How may I know your intentions are serious? Um, I've got a PhD. Will that do? I'm not sure I know what you mean. I don't think I've got anything that would convince you. I've got a PhD. Will that do? <laughs> you have quite a sense of humor, I see. I do. Right, so... We can maybe show him that. But I don't Excuse me again. necessarily want to do that. Yes. Uh, how much for the mask? How much for the mask? You can take the worthless thing. It's getting away my best customers. Ah. We'll have that then. Thank you very much. Right, let's see what else he's got here. It all looks pretty worthless. Okay. Uh, let's look at the crockery. Big pots. Is indeed. Right, um... 
post it? It says, drink Elliot's rose water in Arabic. Huh. Anything up here? No. Pots. Pots, yeah. Uh, I bet he says urns. Little pots. Oh, little pots. <laughs> uh, okay, let's talk to him again. Excuse me again. Yes? Uh, I'm really interested in Atlantis. I'm really interested in Atlantis. And I really need some reason to take you seriously. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm not sure I know what you mean. I'm not sure I know what you mean. For example, it is said that three stone discs were needed to open the gates of Atlantis. Yep, I know that. Show me one of those if you can. Mm, okay. Uh, I saw a stone disc once, but someone stole it. I saw a stone disc once, but someone stole it. That's too bad. I don't discuss the Lost Kingdom with amateurs. Mm, okay. Maybe we can give him this. Excuse me. I think this may interest you. No, thank you. I'm not interested in books. No, oh, okay. So that won't do it, then. What's to do with this? This thing is spooky. It's a bit spooky, isn't it? This thing is spooky. Um, right, let's see if Sophia's got any ideas, then. Excuse me. What is it? Uh, you think this guy is Algebar? You think this guy is Algebar? There's only one way to find out. I guess so. He wants to see a stone disc. He wants to see a stone disc. Maybe we better get one and show it to him. Hmm, okay, so we're going to need a stone disc first. Of all the shops in Algeria, we had to walk into this one. Of all the shops in Algeria, we had to walk into this one. We'll always have Iceland, Indy. <laughs> uh, hot enough for you? Hot enough for you? It'll get a lot hotter if the Nazis beat us to Atlantis. Well, yeah, that's true. Uh, let me think. Let me think. Okay. So we need a stone disc to be able to get him to go into detail on anything then, which is slightly problematic, isn't it? Um, so, we'll probably call it an episode there. We'll have to maybe go back to Trottier and see if we can answer one of his questions, or maybe he's got several questions, I don't know, and see if we can get him to sort of join our side and maybe we can get a stone disc from there i honestly don't know we've got this mask now so perhaps that will come in useful perhaps we can show that to him or something i honestly don't know maybe we can show him the lost dialogue of plato we'll have to see but that is going to do it for this episode guys so as always thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video click on that like button it really does help the channel grow so i do appreciate it make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so and i'll see you all next time